Hello everybody, in lieu of finishing my work, I'd like to take some time to contribute some things to the linguistic community, especially to those who use the LibreOffice package. I'm doing this with Linux, but you can also do this in Windows, or I actually don't know, I don't think LibreOffice is for Mac, but in Windows you can do it. Alright, so today I'd like to show how I figured out how to make syntax trees in LibreOffice. Now, of course, the king of making syntax trees would be LaTeX, but LaTeX has some flaws with it. For example, if I were to open up this old LaTeX file that I have, all right, if I were to say, try to export it, as we can see, none of my files that are supposed to be there, actually none of the text that's supposed to be there, is there. And it's because without a lot of tinkering, which I did in the past, and that's how I fixed it, but uh, it doesn't seem to work now, without all of that tinkering I could not get Unicode fonts, especially Burmese fonts to load. And look at that, I clicked the text and it just closed, crashed like that. So obviously, for my purposes, it's not going to work well. Well, luckily, I found out a good way to do it here. And with the Graphite plugins, you can easily put in Burmese fonts. So first, let's go to Styles and Formatting. I open that up by hitting F11. And let's create a new style. I'm just going to call these trees. In the line, I'm going to change the color to black area. I'll just change it to a gray. I'm not actually going to use it. Font. This is important. Take your default font, make it size 12, and I also have a Burmese font set up here. And I'll make this more of the Times New Roman style and of the better style for publishing here. And then, okay. I'm going to change to that style now. Probably won't load right away, but I'll get to it. Alright, so first, I'm going to make a sentence. And I'll make one just to prove my point in Burmese. And actually, I'll put spaces here, but what I'm going to do is in between the constituents I'll hit tab. There's a reason for it. So, I have the Burmese here. I'm going to make a gloss up here. First person singular. Second person. And then Actually, I'm going to join these two. Object marker. Realist marker. Alright. That's what I'm going to start with. You see, I put it in this text box. There's a good reason for that. Let's make another box. I'm not going to entirely label everything that I probably should. But the things that I find necessary I will label.
probably one more. Just for good pressure. Move it up a little bit. Put it in here. So yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty general. All right, now you can see I have the draw toolbar down here, and if you don't have that, there should be a way to go up here to view and then toolbars drawing. And uh, that should take care of whatever you need. All right, I'm gonna go down here, click on points, so you can hit F8, and then open up blue points. Pay attention here. Insert glue point, and make sure this thing here, glue point relative, is turned on. As you can see, I just added some points there. I can add some points here. And it puts it on like a grid format. So they all kind of just match up. All right, I can get out of that. <coughs> I'm gonna go to connector and hit straight connector. And actually I'm not going to do just that yet. I'm going to come out here, disconnect it, you'll see why. I can click it twice. And then boom. Boom. And I'm dragging and dropping. Do not click twice, otherwise it'll get out of it. And it looks like I'm going to have to add some more points. So blue point. Boom. Boom. There we go. And actually, I need to add a little more points up here for later. There we go. Double click. Doom. And I'll add the final thing, which is the sentence marker. And I'll just position it right about there. When it comes to small things like this, it's hard to add a point exactly. So you're going to want to just add it, and then you drag it over with your mouse. You wait until the square point appears. Double click here. Connect, connect. I hit escape. I can see this. It looks pretty good. I think, anyway. So, the neat thing about this is say if I move this, all the stuff moves with me. So, I can change the length of the lines. If I want this to go up a bit more or over a little bit, I can do that. Like, say I didn't like how this was kind of uneven, like my OCD was getting the best of me. I can change it like that. And there you go, I think it looks pretty good. So, if I wanted to get this in a Word document, or a LibreOffice document rather, the easiest way, and I tested a few different methods, is first to turn off points mode, so either click that or hit F8, now it looks like it's all selected all together. You can do the step of right clicking and hitting group, that's fine, you don't have to, but you could. I just think you can select it all, but pay attention to this next step. 
when you go over here, if you just paste it in like that, now this one actually looks fine. But there are certain times where it does not look fine. It does not look aligned, and it's just kind of all messed up. So I'm going to delete that. The way to preserve the formatting is to hit Control Shift V, or if the Control Shift V doesn't work for you, go up to Edit and go down to Paste Special, and then you'll also see your shortcut here. For me, Control Shift V works. Go down to GDI Metafile and click OK. And we get this little thingy here, which is basically a um, you have a file inside of a file. This is actually the file from the LibreOffice Draw that's now embedded inside of here, so all the formatting is preserved. And I think that's kind of great because if you, say, had this here, I'm actually going to group this so I can move it, and you wanted to make more trees, you could just store all of your trees in this one file and then copy and paste them all where you need them in your article or paper or wherever. So yeah, that's uh, that's a neat way to make trees and just to show you how great this works, I'll export it to PDF here. So here's my PDF and look at this. It's even selectable text. And of course you could probably make the tree better if you put separate styles for it and all of that. You know, I just didn't get into it because I wanted this to be a quick tutorial. But uh, yeah, that's how I got to work. Let me know if you have any questions and any suggestions. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.